Now that we have our base file created, we're going to go in and add some data to it. First thing I'm going to do is turn this surface off, uh, or turn the display of it off, by applying a style that doesn't display any components of the surface. Uh, now that we have it turned off, we have a somewhat cleaner drawing to work with, and it's time to import some data that we received. Uh, I had my surveyor go out and shoot some points for a topo, and we can import that on the Insert tab under uh, Import Land XML. I'll pick the XML file that contains my survey points and open it. I'm going to leave everything here set to the default. There's nothing that needs to be changed. And go ahead and click OK. And now I'll see that my points are imported into the drawing. If we zoom in to take a look, you'll see that uh, we have quite a few points that were shot that we can use to create a surface. They're a little crowded, so I'm going to change the uh, annotation scale. And this is going to change the size of my points without affecting anything else. Uh, so I've got some break lines in here, so let's see if the surveyor uh, sent us any kind of break lines. There should be a drawing. There we go. We have a survey break lines drawing. So let's go ahead and open that and insert it. I'll make sure you explode it up on insertion so it'll actually convert into 3D line work. Looks like I have a boundary and some break lines here. Let's take a look at these. These are actually feature lines. Uh, they do have elevations on them, so uh, they'll act as break lines when I insert them into the surface. Let's go ahead and create a surface by right-clicking on Surfaces in Toolspace. In Prospector, select Create New. We're going to go ahead and give this a name. We're going to call it Field Survey. And uh, we're going to give it a style of, uh, let's do Contours uh, 1 and 5 meter background. And I'll click OK to create the surface. And you'll see over in Prospector that our surface is now populated. Uh, we have it in there. Now it's time to add some data. I think the first th piece of data that we're going to add, of course, is going to be the points. We're going to add those via a point group. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and select my All Points point group, which will create 3D data inside the surface. You'll see contours display. You can see that they look a little jagged, uh, which is, of course, a good thing that the surveyor provided us a file with break lines. Uh, first thing I'm going to do before I add any more data, though, I'm going to add a boundary to this surface. It's going to be an outer boundary, and that's just to make sure that if I do any crossing windows or things like that, I won't pick up any data that's outside my surface. Uh, it'll be fairly significantly easy to spot if we do put in uh, some incorrect data that's outside the surface. So I'm going to add the break lines and go ahead and do that window crossing that I was talking about. And you'll notice that we have some errors pop up. And uh, if you take a look, you'll see that we did pick up our boundary uh, when, we, when we did the window crossing. So I need to find that particular break line. And it's, it's easy to pick up on and notice because it has the fewest uh, vertices of any. So I'm just going to delete that one. And you'll see that our out-of-date icon is displayed here on the surface now. So I can right-click and select Rebuild Surface. When I do, the surface is rebuilt and we have more accurate contours than before. Everything, the brake lines have straightened out our contours. Everything looks good. Let's put this up into a 3D view and just see what it looks like. Once we look at it in 3D, you'll see that our motorway shows up very well, uh, as does our local road over to the west.